Welcome to the Cutting Gauge number 33. Today's topic is uh, emission of methane gas from the ground number 2. Okay, in the Cutting Gauge number 31, I did a small experiment trying to measure the gas emission from the ground when meat was buried under the ground. But at that time, observed methane emission was very small, maybe because amount of meat was not enough. So, as a second trial this time, I tried to see more imminent gas emission when more meat was buried under the ground. Let's see what happens. Again, I made a small hole in the backyard. The depth of the hole was about 20 centimeters. I got the grounded meat from supermarket. The weight is now 400 grams, four times as before. The frozen meat was placed bottom of the hole. Now we have a lot of meat. It should produce a lot of methane, I hope. No methane gas was detected at this point. Laser methane was used to detect methane gas, of course. Bring the soil back onto the hole. The green rod is the location of the meat. The measurement was started on May 13th for five months. I did a measurement almost every day. After starting the experiment for a few days, I'm getting to get methane signal from the ground. Detection threshold was 100 ppm meter. The gas detection signal was only intermittent and also gas was existing very close to the surface. The gas signal was detected often at closed area. This is the result of the experiment. The gas emission continued a long time. The highest value was close to 1000 ppm meter, but the daily variation was very big. The value dropped significantly sometime when you have a rainy weather. After five months of experiment, I excavated the area if I can see some residue of the meat. The meat was completely disintegrated and I couldn't find any residue at all. The summary of the experiment. The emission of the methane gas from 400 gram grounded meat continued more than five months. The maximum column density observed was close to 1000 ppm meter. Methane gas was detected only the surface of the soil often at the covered area such as under the leaves. Major value was greatly reduced when rainy condition. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like it. Well, one thing I learned through the experiment was that this integration process of protein underground proceeds very, very slowly and methane emission rate is not so high and methane gas is existing only very close to the surface of the soil. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again sometime soon with another edition of Cutting Edge. Bye-bye.